her and the groom during the first dance, she she slips on something. The heel gives out. She dislocates her knee, goes to the ER, gets knee popped back in, popped back into place, kneecap, gets hopped up on a bunch of drugs and comes back to uh, make the last call at the reception. Fucking trooper, nice. man. Fucking trooper. You know, that's... Well, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? That's the thing is the people that want to go home and like cry and get in a bathtub. Fuck them. How many times are you going to get married? Hopefully once. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, and then how many times are you going to get to go to an open bar hopped up on prescription pills that have willingly been given to you by a medical professional? There's very rare occasions you're going to be able to do that all legally and no one's going to judge you. I, I'm not. I'm not necessarily judging like the why wouldn't you because I think if, if I if the shoe was on the other foot or the knee was on the other cap, uh, I I would do everything in my power to go back. But if the doc is like, listen, take it easy, take the wheelchair out front, get back to the hotel, cancel your uh, honeymoon, and let that knee rest for a little bit. But if the doc or the ER or the physicians like, hey, look, get back there, you know, rock and roll. If you feel up to it. If you feel up to it, it's your it's okay. your wedding. And and she was like, "We're fucking going. Get the pull the car around. I'm not even I'm not even going to get pushed out in the goddamn wheelchair out the ER and wave to everyone. I'm just going to jump in that bitch and we're going." They came back to a, a round fist. of applause. Just give me a fistful of opioids. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll get back to the I'll get back to the open bar, and I will make it through the next day and a half. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to cancel the snorkeling. Um, we're going to cancel the, uh, the zip lining that we had, uh, uh, you know, scheduled at Panama or Costa Rica. <laughs> we're going to skip the salsa dancing classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're just going to beach it up and, and that'll be that. I don't even know if you, I, I guess you could travel and I, <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen anyone get on with a, with a kneecap like that. When they put it back in place, they give you one of those, um, braces that goes from your thigh down to your calf and you're on, you're on crutches for at least a week. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Hey, the best way to treat a knee is to bend the knee. That's what I always heard. So mm. just get it moving right away. So you're saying it's, lot you know. lots of doggy style sex in the honeymoon. I think what they right? do is like they come on they come on and fucking and hijack like somebody in row A's seat that like paid for that was like specifically like, Yep, we to get all that fucking extra leg room and they come over like, Excuse me, sir, we have uh Tammy, she blew out her fucking knee at her wedding. Would you mind? letting her fucking sit here and this guy's like fucking bitch like god yeah. damn it i'm going to costa rica too like and then they sh- she's she gets like a fucking roomy ride that's what happens on a plane alan why is it that the uh flight attendants in your hypothetical plane sound like michael jackson uh i don't know <laughs> okay that's a good question was that michael jackson like uh, excuse me uh listen uh... <laughs> well it's 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 very unisex okay it's very uh it's very yeah. woke it could, it could be either, either or Exactly. That's exactly what I meant to do. Bring on the sexy stews, man. 